the purpose of your trip, please? Business. Thank you, and welcome to Celeste. What is the purpose of your trip, please? May I see these Havana's, please? Relax. I'll relax after the dog and the pony show. Will you put that thing away? Joe. Mr. Ross? Hello. Hello. Susan. Susan, you on the plane? Back in the cheap seats. I'm just thrilled the company sent me down here at all. Let me help you with that. Uh, Susan. Susan. Oh, no, Mr. Ross, I promised Mr. Klein. Nobody touches this but me. I'll just get this. Do you know you are a real Boy Scout? That's a compliment indeed. No, they told me when we started here, and it's true. Nothing sensitive in that. Absolutely not. Come on. The process. And by means of the process, to control the global market. And this process is complete? It's near completion. Near completion. Very near. This team which Mr. Team. Ross... The team. Mm -hmm. The team. And I think if I may, uh, Mr. Klein, it would not be amiss to state that both the work and the inspiration for the process was... Thank the... you, George. I know you'll understand when I say that's neither here nor there. These gentlemen have come down to hear the good news. The good news is control of the market. Um, how are we going to do that, Mr. Ross? Well, you have some of the technical information in front of you. Obviously, we don't want to get too specific for security reasons. So my task today is to tell you those things which I can in layman's language. I think I can break it down sufficiently to give you a pretty firm idea. This process? Yes. How long can we hold on to it before the competition steals Well, we defend it, of course, tooth and nail. This is a proprietary process. Of we... course, after the fact. But the competition... The question is, if we get into it, what do we own? You're asking us to consider making a vast investment our concern Before is that we'll we turn can it take this free to the stockholders' all. meeting, I want to know what, what do we own? own. Speak to the point. Thank you. I will speak to that point. Without the data, without our actual data, without the formula, the Japanese or anyone else for that matter would have nothing. Should you give us the go ahead, their actual. The legal issues are these. We have both the de facto and the de jure copyright of that process. It was developed by... Even should they engage in piracy, their research and development time... Their catch-up time... Would put them back, George. Three? Three to five years. And what I want to know is how much money will we make? In that three to five-year period, a conservative projection is we're going to generate for the company a windfall somewhere on the order of... Mr. Klein. Yes. I wonder if I could take this opportunity. Yes, what is it, to... Joe? Mr. Klein, if I might. Um, they were kind enough to mention the stockholders' meeting, mm -hmm. but um, if we could discuss the exact terms of of your of, of my bonus, uh, Joe. as my participation. In... Joe, this thing goes. There's going to be more than enough to go around. Are you kidding? You did good in there, and I'm not going to forget it. Thank Neither you, are they. Thank you, but my exact question is. Um... How much? Well, I'm in the same position as you. Eh? They keep me in the dark, too. Yes, they do. You need a couple of bucks for your rent? For my rent? Uh, I can't say that I do, sir, no, but... Uh... Joe, I'll tell you what. Frankly, I'm here to enjoy myself. And that's why we brought you fellas down. Give you a little perk. Now, you want to talk business? New York, my office. Anytime. And Joe, why don't you buy yourself some new clothes? Give yourself a holiday. As you can see, Joe, lots to do down here. See you in New York. Both the room charges and the incidentals. Uh, the fax said the incidental expense. Well, I'm just the new girl. Uh, I'll just be a moment. Thanks. Your traveler's checks are in U.S. dollars, sir? That's right. Some clam bake, huh? I'll need you to sign these. Gabrielle, you have to change the tape on the video. Uh-huh. Change them? Don't you just re-record them? No, we save all the tapes, sir. What do you keep them for? Insurance company demands it. People, water skiing, and so on. In case of a suit, a lot of money, sir. They'd give you a better exchange at the bank. Oh, well, I suppose I should have done it that way, but that's all right. Hello. Been shopping, Mr. Ross? No, if you wanted to, uh, as long as we were down here. Thank you. You could call me Joe. 
Yeah, long as I didn't take that as inducement to, you know, further intimacy. Thank you. Well. I'll call you Joe when we're down here then, if I may. How'd the meeting go? Something big, huh? That's what they all think back home, something big. Could be something big. What is it? Sworn to secrecy. Something big, sworn to secrecy, everybody's smoking a cigar. Things seem to be operating in our favor. Mm. Did you know the Caribbean is the number one honeymoon destination for young Japanese? I didn't know that. Well, it is. Long way to come. Must be because it's so romantic. Aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Ross? Mr. Ross? Take a picture, sir? Sure. Security of the process. There's only one copy of the process. Uh -huh. It's in New York. Well. I see. Now, let me answer your other. Beats working, doesn't it? What do you think? One last shot? Show them back at the office? Our day in paradise? Sure. Let's see those ivories. Friendly smile at Tropical Isle. I'll take you, too. Thanks. Chris, uh, I left the log on the pilot seat. Did you get that for me? You're a real gent. See ya. Global market. I'll give you a thousand dollars for that camera. I beg your pardon? I said I will give you a thousand dollars if you give me that camera. Are you asking a favor of me? Is that the idea? Because if it's important to you, why don't you take the camera? As a gift. Why don't you take it? There you go. My gift to you. hush-hush secret development but i'm so low down on the food chain i've only been there a month and nobody oh hello joe i was just yeah we're saying... secret agents down here super rich and powerful reforming the world and full of priceless information everybody on vacation's got a story and then that's right everybody needs to feel important what do you do me i'm with the fbi <laughs> i know I shouldn't have said anything. Not that I know anything. You're right, you're right. You know what I have? A secretary mentality, that's what I have. No, that's right, Susan. Might be a good idea. Not that anyone tells me anything. I'm just here to fetch and carry, send the new girl. Oh, no. It's not a big thing. Just have to mention it. Thanks. Somebody's got a crush on you. I ain't looking for an office romance. All I want is an umbrella and my drink. Your ship comes in, you're going to be whisking them away like flies, lad. Just like flies. My ship comes in. Nice shirt. Ah. <laughs> they can twist and squirm, but they owe you. And if they don't want to pay? Well, nobody wants to pay, but here's what I think, you know. Worry is like interest paid in advance on a debt that never comes due. Is it indeed? I warrant you. Leave the job till tomorrow. This evening, um, let's enjoy ourselves. You'll have to show me how. My pleasure. Girls. Evidently intended for our betters. I'm going to go off and get into trouble. How well, good of you to come out and join us. <laughs> Here we go. You interested in tennis? Never had too much time for it. Well, that's the whole problem with the whole thing, isn't it? man said, it's all right when your hobbies get in the way of your work, but when they start to get in the way of each other. My little sister plays tennis, alternate on the Olympic team. Well, all right. What I want to say is, thank you. 
I was wrong today. I was wrong to offer you money. It was gauche, and it was... And I appreciate your gesture, and I'm in your debt. Thank you. Glad to help. Lovely romantic spot. My name's Julian Delb, by the way. Everybody calls me Jimmy. Joseph Ross. That was a nice gesture on your part. I appreciate it. Thank you. Where's the young lady? The young lady on the beach. Helicopter. Back to Bermuda. You want to get a drink? Sure. Who is she? The young lady on the beach. Well, a princess. She's a princess. You might say the title means nothing, as the country hardly exists anymore, but perhaps it means something. And the princess, she's what? She's, well, she's married. And she's married to a friend of mine. So I saw you with the camera. Oh, yes. What happened to the princess? Well, she was, of course, never here, so we had to whisk her back to her husband. I understand. Good morning. Good morning. George Lang, Jimmy Dell. Fellow with the airplane. That's right. Pleasure. Nice plane. Beats walking. The fella said we must never forget that we are human. And as humans, we must dream. And when we dream, we dream of money. Well, money impresses everyone. What did it ever do for one? Useful if you want to buy things. I got this. My sister. Is she young and pretty? Oh, yeah, I think she'd qualify as young and pretty. Mm. Well, I'm going to take a walk. You want to take a walk? Bedtime for me. Well, perhaps we'll meet back in New York. I hope so. Got a card? Sure. Thanks, Joe. Jimmy. Lovely gesture of yours, giving me that camera. and all incidental and personal items as we spoke of. Well, now I know they're high on you. They even told me to pick up your local calls. Mm. And I didn't call anybody. Well, you missed your chance. Should have gone to Hog Wild in the company and stolen a bathrobe. Joe, Joe, can I talk to you for a second? For the purposes of billing, if you could render our account into American dollars, and we would, of course, pay the exchange rate today. Yes, sir. The group has expressed some anxiety about the possibility of insider trading. Mr. Klein, I'm not about to indulge in Just insider Just mention it. It's a matter of... No, sir, I understand. You understand what? I understand that everyone is anxious. Would you excuse me for a minute? Okay, let me just take you through these yeah. charges. This is your room Thank charge. Thank you. Right. Thank you. It's a pleasure to have now, you let's here. Let's see. This is radio telephone to the mainland? Yes. And these are all room and beverage. And this is for the Steno translator, is that right? Yes, this is for the island uh -huh. currency, and this is for the international courier. The international courier, good, thank you. We had the line open to Switzerland overnight. No, no, that's fine. Good morning, and how's the world traveler today? Let me talk to you, please. Feeling poorly? I put a thief in my mouth to steal my brains. How was your evening? Actually, I had a rather interesting evening. Ooh, ooh. What might this be? Rich anti? Part of my adventure took place in the casino. Here's your half. My half? We swore to share and share alike. No, I don't need this. A deal's a deal. Give it a charity. Oh, uh, uh, wait a second, wait a second. I'll get that, Susan. Thank you. Do you know you are a real gentleman? Oh, 
Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Joe! Joe! I'm so glad I caught you. Look, you're going back to New York. Might I ask you a service? Certainly. Could you drop off a package for me? Could you drop this off for my sister? Uh, Mrs. De Silva at the Wilcher? Sure. You don't mind? I'm glad to do it. Do you know, I'm going to be in New York Friday. Are you free? I... We'll have dinner. Are you free? Of course. I'll call you. I look forward to it. Friday. You may proceed to your gate. And thank you. May I help you, sir? Would there be anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, more room in first class. No, I'll check. This is so generous of you. My pleasure. This is so generous of you. Thomas. No, it's an extraordinary gesture. It's all right. Remarkable. There you go, Bill. Somebody said nobody going on a business trip would have been missed if he didn't arrive. This way, please. I'm sorry, miss. Camera? Yes, just put it on the belt, please. Thanks. Step two. You on the plane? Yes, yes, yes. This film, is it going to no, be... No, Mom, it won't hurt your film. Just come through. So nice of you, really. And they told me I even get to keep my return ticket. Use it any time. Not that I plan to be back here, but... May I see your ticket, miss? No, I know you wouldn't think it, but this gentleman arranged for me to sit here with quality. Shows to go you, you never know who anybody is. Bonjour. Never know who anybody is. That girl said she was with the FBI. Guess what she does? What does she do? She is with the FBI. Funny old world. Funny old world? Dog my cats. Dog my cats, indeed. You never know who anybody is. With the exception of me, I am what I look like. Why is that, Mr. Ross? I think you look just fine. No, anybody could be anybody, mysterious or... Take that guy who got off the seaplane, all right? Take him. What about him? What about him? Who was he? I don't know. A fellow got off a plane. Just my point. Just my point. We think he's a fellow who got off a plane. Can't go around mistrusting everybody. You mistrust everybody? No, just strangers. Ah. We saw him get off the plane. We did not. We, we saw him in a boat which came from the direction of the plane. I saw him get off the plane. Well, maybe that's just what you think you saw. I got a picture. I took a picture of you and he's in the background and I believe you'll see, I can't say that I'm sure, but I think you'll see that his little boat just came from the direction of the plane. And we have no idea who anyone is. Hola, monsieur. We will be arriving in New York shortly. You are required to fill out a custom form. And an immigration form if you are not in the United States. I think I'm getting the flu. I'm taking in some Cuban cigars. You? Did you? Where'd you hide them? Like they say at the airport, did anyone give you a package? Did you, uh, did you, you leave mean? your... Well, what do they call them? Mules. People get people to bring in dope for them. Dope or guns or something. Somebody gives you a package to take back, and you trust them. Who is what they seem? Who in this world is what they seem? Mesdames, Messieurs, votre attention, s'il vous plaît. Ici, votre commandant. Nous avons entamé la connaissance vers New York, et espérons que vous avez passé un agréable voyage. Nous vous remercions d'avoir utilisé CACR. Nous vous prions d'attacher vos ceintures et de les maintenir attachées. Excuse me, sir. We will be landing on the Sir? Sir? 
My imagination was that new secretary with us up in first class. You bought her a ticket. I bought her the ticket. You bought her the ticket. You know what your problem is, Joe? You're too nice. Everything for everybody else, nothing for yourself. Driver, stop the car, please. Where are you going? You take my stuff back to the office. Sure. Thank you. Book could, of course, be rebound, but... Price is not an issue. Miss Smith? Well, certainly, sir. But as I was going to say, it's a common book, a common issue. I wouldn't be surprised if we... Oh, by the way, if you are interested in Don Budge, if it happens to be, I have a very fine autograph of him at the French Open, and, uh... Got it, Mr. Cole. Ah, uh, you see? Very same. The same book. Same book, same edition. Identical. Hmm. May I write this for you? Um, y yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, uh, would you mind? And if you find you are interested in the Don Budge photo, I'm sure I could give you a very attractive price on it. Yes, thank you. Mrs. De Silva? Mrs. De Silva. I'll see that she gets it, sir. Thank you. So, what are you doing for the weekend, Susan? As far as I know, I'm working here. Working, huh? That's right. See you Monday. The question is one of compensation to which you are uh, <coughs> entitled. Compensation is the discoverer <coughs> and is the head of the design team. It's your right. Every time I broach it. What does he say? He says, wait until the stockholders meeting. Oh, well, of course, by then it'll be too late. Don't give up, we're gonna talk it out. What are you doing tonight? I think I'm going to dinner. Big date. Some people I met. Who is it? Susan Ricci. Just a minute, please. Are you giving her a tumble? Perhaps I have my sights set on different things. Beware of all enterprises which require new clothes. Tea time. Shouldn't you be going home? Well, yes, I have a hot date for the weekend with this rich and dishy guy who's going to whisk me to Connecticut and lull me around in an old four-poster bed, but it's just in my imagination, so here I am. Thank you. Are you studying tennis? Oh, uh, we didn't play in my neighborhood when I was a kid. Getting used to the ways of the rich? Why should you be doing that? Oh, come on. Oh, would you turn away, please? 
So how's everything in the outer offices? My troika was pursued by wolves. Good thing this cookie arrived unscathed. It was a close thing. Susan. Oh, no. I don't mean to pry. I'm just here to serve. Good night, Joe. Susan. You get freed up, give me a call. <coughs> you know, I should stay home anyway. I'm coming down with something. The flu. A lot of it going around. Good night, George. Good night. When you own the company, can I be queen? What are you talking about? Little pictures have big ears. Do they indeed? That's their identifying mark. What do loose lips sink? Ships. See you on Monday, Susan. Mm. Have a good weekend, Mr. Ross. Oh, when I get my film back from the photomat, you're going to see that that guy was not on the seaplane, and you'll owe me a dollar. Sensitive in there, Joe. All right. Mr. Klein, the process is in the safe on non copyable paper. There are, that I know of, only two keys. Good night, Mr. Klein. Yeah, well, I'm going home. You tell Susan I'll see you on Monday. Yes, Mr. Klein. If anyone calls, I'll be home. Yes, sir. Mr. Klein? Mr. Klein, could I say something? Please, what is it? Uh, sir. Your concern with security indicates to me that you think somebody's trying to take advantage of you. Sir, I don't want to take advantage of you, and frankly, I don't want anyone to take advantage of me. I, I only... I, I don't understand. I would like... I would like consideration for the work that I've done on the process and for the wealth that's going to be brought into this company. I keep telling you, son, everybody appreciates the work you've done. Everybody does. And you will find it recognized at the stockholders' meeting. Good night. Have a good weekend. You've done a wonderful job, Joe. A wonderful job. Your work will be recognized. You want to ride out with me? We'll ride out together. I have a dinner date. The car is here, sir. I take your point. Let's all just do our jobs, and uh, we will be rewarded according to our just desserts. I'm gone till Monday. Yes, sir. Have a good weekend. Where did the car come from? This car came from the estate of the previous owner and then was returned to Aston Martin. Aston Martin and Lagonda, of course, merged the mid-40s. Compared to this four and a quarter liter Bentley. The Bentley isn't synchromesh. You have independent rear suspension. This car was considered the most decadent car of its day. Why is that? Look at the lines. And the speed? May I help you? Hello. Sir, I'm sorry, we're open only by appointment. No, no, I, I guess I'd, uh, 
Well, I guess I'd better get out of your way. Oh, would you like us to drive it out to you this weekend on the island? Someone should do a book. Japanese, all over the world, in front of the world's greatest monuments, taking pictures of each other. That's what somebody should do. We were supposed to have dinner last night. What happened? Don't the laws of courtesy apply to the rich? Well, you know, you're a hell of a one to talk about courtesy. I don't understand. You had my sister waiting for you all afternoon. What? What do you mean, what? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. You were going to bring the book to her. I did bring her the book. You left it for her. I, you, you told me you were going to bring the book to her. I called. She was waiting for you. She was waiting for... She waited all afternoon. I never said I'd bring her the book. Well, I believe that's what we settled on. Well, it certainly was not. I didn't... I didn't... Look. Look, look. I didn't... Look. I didn't want to intrude. Why would I want to intrude? Hmm? My understanding was you asked me to drop it off. That's not what we said. Well, look here. It certainly is. And I don't know what the thing is with you, but I don't appreciate being accused of a lack of courtesy. Seriously. And isn't it possible you misremembered? No, no. Don't look at me like I want something from you. I don't want anything from you. You asked me to do it. Is it possible you got it wrong? Huh? Is it possible? It's possible. All right. That's all I want to say. Thank you. I was just in the neighborhood, and I thought I would drop by. You want some coffee? Sure. So, as I said, I was just accidentally in the vicinity, and aren't you courteous and all for having me in? Yes, well, good. Make him right by my house, right under my house. Small world, huh? Chock full of coincidences. Nice knife. Thank you. Got it in the Boy Scouts. Hell of an organization. Ever get the urge to do something adventurous? In spite of the ancient wisdom against inter-office romances. Look, hey, look, here's the thing. I know you're in line for, for, for higher things. You got it written all over you, but... But you never get anything in life if you don't speak out for it. So here's what I wanted to say. I... I'm a hell of a person. I'm loyal and true, and I'm not too hard to look at. What do you think? I think you're a lovely young woman. You think so? I've got eyes. You got very nice eyes. Can you see without those things? Sure. Why don't you take them off? Yes? This is Jimmy Dell. I called to say I'm sorry. You're sorry? Yes. Do you know why? Because I was wrong, and I'd like you to accept my apology. You're sorry? Yes, I was wrong. I was dead wrong, and I would be grateful if you would forgive me. 
Yes, I do. Thank you. Are you sure? Yes. Good. Then if you're free tonight, my sister and I would love to take you to dinner. I'll send my car for you. Okay. Thank you. Good. Oh, no, your mother's sick or something, huh? No, no. But, uh... Yes? I'm busy. You're busy? Yes. Nothing I can say to that. But, um... Uh, it's lovely of you to stop, stop by. Well, well, I... was in the neighborhood anyway. If you ever feel the need of some company, or you'd like someone to cook you dinner, or a dinner and breakfast. 110 Mott Street. 110 Mott Street above a bakery. Above a bakery? Above the Sunshine Bakery. Wouldn't that be just like me? Too warm. Hi, right, I'll throw on some clothes and we'll go. Do you want a drink? Sure. Thank you. You swim every day? I try to. My sister's going to meet us at the club. Hmm. Sorry, I got to catch them before they close. Listen, I want to apologize. It's possible I misremembered what we had. No, done. that's not necessary. It was me. I'm sure it was my fault, and it was my fault. And I'm going to tell you why. Want to hear a sad story? Since we were kids, my sister and I, all we ever had was each other. It's still all we have. How's that for melodrama? I called her and told her I wanted her to meet a nice guy. You know what? Forget about it. But Lord, didn't you get hot today? You got on my high horse. I suppose you did. Got a little ahead of yourself, going on about you rich people. You rich people. Did I say that? Yes, you did. Before you throw your sister at me, I think I should correct a misimpression. Listening? I'm just a working man. Uh-huh. What's a working man doing on St. Estef? You a jewel thief? My company brought me down. Seven million widgets or something? Something like that. Work for a living, that's your dark secret. That's it. Well, that explains it. What? Your good manners. Thank you. Noble savage. Noble savage. Not even one Swiss bank account? Wouldn't even know how to open one. Did you have a dog when you were young? My mother had a dog. What was his name? Patty. You now have a Swiss bank account, anybody asks. Credit National de Genève, code word Patty. You just opened me a Swiss bank account? Yes. <laughs> Why? Lavish, awkward gesture. All of 15 Swiss francs in it, but if you ever want to impress anybody, they can find out you have a Swiss account. But Swiss law prohibits the bank from revealing the balance. Thus, are all men made equal? Let me change, let's go meet the little sister. Good evening, Mr. Dell. You had a message for Mrs. De Silva. Thank you. Well, she ain't feeling well. Sins or regrets, can we meet her tomorrow for tennis? You free? Of course, I hope it's not. Would you call Mrs. De Silva, James, tell her tennis tomorrow will be fine? Two o'clock? Yes, sir. Good evening, Mr. Dell. Hello, George. What's good tonight? It's all good, Mr. Dell. What'd you have? I had the venison. What'd the chef have? 
You have the venison? Then we'll have the venison. Hello. Hello. What is it? It's uh, Saturday, Mr. Dell. Yes. It's club members only tonight, sir. Well, forget about it. Big deal. It's the board meeting after the meal. It's an old rule, George. The board members are here. Um, let's go somewhere else. Lord have mercy. Who do you have to know in this town? You sending me out for a burger? Mr. Dell, if there were anything I could do. No, no, no. Saturday night. No. Members only. Well, hell, give me a membership form. Go in the office and get a membership form. Please, James. Uh, listen, Jimmy. Uh, it couldn't be less important. What could be better? <laughs> you really don't have to go through it. It's my nature. I'm a problem solver and I have a heart of gold. Thank you, James. Speaking of, go speaking of gold, it's got more bullion on it than... We're not electing a pope or anything, are we? Just really a... sign it and we'll... What is the phrase? Chow down. Mr. Ross, welcome to the club. What do I owe you for the membership? You know what? Forget about it. Pay me when your ship comes in. You know what? That may be presently. Glad to hear it. Get a tip on a horse? The widgets. Widgets. You're uh, developing a new... Put it in the bank. And do the American thing. What's that? Marry a rich widow. We used to say a nymphomaniac who owns a liquor store. That's right. Money isn't everything. That's what my boss says. Does he? That's right. One thing my father taught me about business. Always do business as if the person you're doing business with is trying to screw you, because most likely they are. And if they're not, you can be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> My father knew about business. Work hard, take all the overtime you can get. You liked your father, huh? I loved my father. What did he do? Worked like a dog all his life. Well, he left you a hell of a legacy. He'd be proud of you, Joe. I'm sure he would. How can you say that? People aren't that complicated, Joe. Good people, bad people. They generally look like what they are. Is that so? It is. Why are so many people having such difficulty? That's the question baffles me. Play some tennis tomorrow? Two o'clock. Transfer it from the A account. We'll then take it. That's right. Thank you. What have you done with her? No, 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 no. Close out the account. That's all right. Just close it out and put it in the... That's right. Put it in the Channel Islands liquid. Thank you. I don't care what the legal department said about verbal agreements. You tell them I said to write it down. Who gets to do what to who? Thank you. Where's the girl? I thought you had her. I ain't got her. Let's go change. You know what the man said about verbal agreements? They're not worth the paper they're printed on. That's what my boss just said to me. In re what? I mean, what? What is he, uh, what's he talking about? Well, I've got a, uh, I have, thank you. You're welcome. I uh, did something for the company, and they owe me something. I think I need to get it in writing. I would. What do they owe you? I think they owe me a lot of money. What do you mean you think? Uh, I invented something for them. It's a work for hire. They own it, but uh, it's... Hello, is Mrs. De Silva in? Who told you it was a work for hire? Well, they did. <laughs> I... You invented it? Well, I... I'm not a lawyer. I'm just a guy. Tell me, you invented it? Yes. Uh-huh. But I'm sure it belongs to them. I was in their employee at the time. No, this is her brother. Who am I speaking to? There's no reason you should be so sure. You may very well have a proprietary interest in this. What is it? She has the flu? She has the flu. You have a contract with this company? I do. 
Take it to a lawyer who specializes in copyright and contract law. I have a friend who's a lawyer. What's his name? George Lang. He works for the company. Due respect to Mr. Lang, but if I may, you want an independent view. Mm. I'll be glad to. No, but... look, I appreciate it. Uh, please don't take it personally, but I... Uh... The phrase is, don't want to mix business and pleasure. No, that's not it. I don't know that I want to adopt an adversarial position toward the company. But you are in an adversarial position. No, no, I think you're wrong. I think you'll find that if what you've done for them is valuable as you say it is, if they are indebted to you morally but not legally, my experience is they will give you nothing. And they will begin to act cruelly toward you. Why? To suppress their guilt. How's your sister? All right, but if you need some help, just ask. She's sick, by the way, down with the flu. A lot of it going around. Good morning. Oh, Mr. Russell, Mr. Julian Dell called for you. Joe, would you step over here for a moment, please? Yes. No message. You said he'd call back fine. later. Yeah. Um, we can send out the distribution. Would you arrange for uh, to have some flowers sent for me, please? On company business? What? No, for me personally. Uh, to a Mrs. Emma De Silva at the Wiltshire. Uh, card, I am most sorry. Good morning, Mr. Ross. Hi. The card. Oh, um, I'll, I'll get back to that later. Oh. Yes, yes, I'd like to speak to you, too. I'll, I'll get back to that. I got my photos back. I have something to show you. Okay, uh, just sex, Susan, yes. suggest you simply think of it as a revalidation of your agreement with the company. Uh, no, I don't understand. Why would I have to revalidate my agreement? Well, this is purely a formality. Before any announcements, before... Well, you want to be certain that the process, Joe... Yes? ...that any uncertainty about, uh, about... About any outstanding... Look, there are several questions involved. Yes, what are they? Well, questions of security. Well, there's no question of security. There, there's only one copy of the process. It's in, it's in my safe. Leakages of information. We have a proprietary process here worth over half. Well, that's a legitimate concern, but I still don't see why that means I should sign your, uh, what do you call it, revalidate my agreement. Mr. Ross. Look, I'll tell you what I will do. I'll be glad to show this to my lawyer and then respond to you, and then I'll thank you for your time. Mr. Ross, Mr. Ross, if I may, I don't see why you have to adopt an attitude. Thank you for your time. These are legitimate concerns of the company, Mr. Ross. And if I may, your attitude. My attitude? My attitude? Which attitude is that? Did you question my attitude when I developed the process? Can we all calm down? No, no, wait a second. No, wait a second. Wait a second. We were calm. We were. Uh, then all of a sudden, Mr. Klein, you're in here with your lawyers. All I. No, all I. All I am saying is that I plan to take steps to ensure that I. Res I ask you for assurances, and all I get is you want me to void my contract. No, I'm going to make sure. What are you? What are you talking about, Mr. Ross? What? What are you? Ta I hope you're not talking about any. Any kind of actions that would that would injure the company. What do you mean? Any premature any premature out of school dealings? How dare you? Because if if, if we were to find any how dare how can you hire these people and then hide behind their dirty skirts? How dare you after all I've done for this company? He wants the expanded projections for the next two quarters. You got him handy? I sure do. Good. Mr. Dell, leave a number. Oh yes, sir. Can you get him for me, please, Kathy? Hello? Hello, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, that you? Yes. Hi. What is it? Yes, I would very much like to meet with the, um, the sort of person we talked about. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yeah, you were right. Tell me when. Good, yes, tomorrow. Where? Lunch, the plaza. Thank you. Oh, but Mr. Ross, the flowers, sir. What? Oh, um... Kathy, could you get these out for me, please? Oh, uh, hi. Uh, no, never mind. Forget about it. I knew you'd be back, sir. For a tennis player, right? Yes, yeah, she. They play tennis, yes. You take a check. Certainly. Shall I wrap it? Yes, please. Don Bud to the French Open. Thank you very much. It's a lovely gift, sir. I'm sure whoever receives it will cherish it for the rest of their days.
May I help you, sir? Yeah, I'd like to leave a package, please. Sir. For uh, Mrs. De Silva. Mrs. De Silva? Oh, we have a package for Mrs. De Silva. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. A uh, package for Mrs. Emma De Silva. Young Mrs. De Silva, a tennis player. It's the only Mrs. De Silva in the building. This is Mrs. Emma De Silva, sir. You see here, Mr. Ross, I believe you owe me a dollar, sir. I'm sorry, what? Here is my album of my one day in the sun. Here are some photos. Here's my ticket. Good for one free return any time to the Caribbean island of San Estef. And here, as you see, is our mystery man, his lovely companion, and his boat, which, as you see, has nothing whatever to do with the seaplane. So, you never know who anybody is, and it would pay to be a little careful. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. What is it? What's the matter, Mr. Ross? Yes? Yes, I'm calling about that problem of yours which we discussed. Yes. My lawyer wants you to bring your contract when you come. He's gonna get you straightened out. I appreciate it. Would you excuse me? Of course. And here's what I think. Whatever this thing is... The thing? The thing that you've done for the company, that thing you invented? Yes. Bring a copy of it, too. Your sister gonna be there? She's out for the count, but thank you for asking. Uh, Special Agent Pat McCune, please. I'm sorry, Agent McCune is out of the office. It's very important that I speak with her. Um, could you connect me or tell me how to contact her, if you could? One moment, please. McCune. Yes. Um, I met you in the islands. In the islands. I'm calling about the man in the islands, the fellow with the seaplane. The fellow with the seaplane. That's right, yes. I is he the reason you were down there? The fellow with the seaplane calls himself Julian Dell. Yes, that's right. Uh, December 10th, 1960. This fellow Dell, are you with him now? No. All right. I'm going to give you an address. You meet me there. Do you have a pencil? Um, yes. Come by yourself. I'll talk to the fellow between now and then. All right. This thing do for the cold, keep on moving. Just keep walking, Mr. Ross. Keep walking. Anybody following him? Uh-uh. My name is... Uh... Well, yeah, I know you are. Ross, Joseph A, D-O-B, 121060. Is that it? That's it. What was your mother's maiden name? Bainbridge. Call up the car. What was her mother's maiden Transpo. name? Transpo. Laval. You want to come in here? Get in the car, would you, Mr. Ross? Hey, they start moving, give me a shout. We'll catch you when we're rolling. Gotcha. Little walk in the park, Mr. Ross.
then to deliver the plans to him. To deliver the plans. The plans are for a, a project with... Hey, don't tell me. If it's so damn secret, I don't want to know. If our friend's after them, I'm assuming they're valuable. They're very valuable. All right. How much have you told this guy? I haven't told him anything. How much have you told him? Look, I haven't done anything illegal. Yep, yeah, you're in a lot of trouble. I haven't done anything wrong. Not from me, Mr. Ross. From him. From him. But you have an advantage if he doesn't know that you know. What do you want to do? I want to help you catch him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hurt your feelings, did he? That's right. They're rolling. Time to get to work. Where's the meat? The plaza, noon. He's going to change it. Don't worry. I... Don't worry. Let's go. How will I contact you? No, we're going to be watching you. Keep a sense of humor. Come on. Hello? Hello, Joe. Jimmy. Jimmy, how are you? What, did you go out last night? I, I was calling you and... Yeah, I went to a movie. What'd you see? I... Have him wait. I'll call him back. Listen, Joe, got to change the meeting. The lawyer can't do noon. Can't do noon. Make it at 10, can you? 10 a.m.? And listen, listen. Here's what he wants to do. Meet us in the park. In the park? By the carousel. Why is that? He says it's for secrecy to protect yourself. The carousel at 10 and, and bring the process. Bring the process. Yeah? Yes. Navy Fountain, Central Park, 9.30. Mr. Ross, would you point to your right like you're directing me somewhere? Just point to your right. Thank you. Now walk under the arches, please, and up the steps. Get in the room. Get in the room, sir. Just get in the room. It's an interesting setup, Mr. Ross. It is the oldest confidence game on the books. The Spanish prisoner. So how far back it goes, glory days of Spain. We're clear outside. We're gonna have you wear a wire. Fellow says him and his sister, wealthy refugees, left a fortune in the home country. He got out. The girl and the money got stuck in Spain. I'm gonna put this translator on you, Mr. Ross. Here is her most beautiful portrait. And he needs money to get her and the fortune out. Man who supplies the money gets the fortune and the girl. Oldest con in the world. Intelligent people play on their vanity and greed. Interesting twist. How are we doing for time? We got a couple of minutes. You sure you want to do this? Yes, I'm very sure. All right. Plug him in. All units on what you need. All units on what You're wearing a radio transmitter. Here is what we need. He will ask you for the material. We need you to refuse to give it to him. To refuse. You have to refuse. What's this? It's the formula for a process. That's the real thing? Your man said to bring it. I told you to bring it. He said to do whatever Dell told me to do. I was just following his orders. Well, he's all set. How are we doing? The important thing is to refuse when Dell asks you for it. Why? because he will then either bribe or threaten you, and that's what we want on tape. And that is what he will have to answer for. You've been after him a long time. That's why you were down at the islands. This is a very bad actor, Mr. Ross. We've been after him some time. We're very grateful for your help. Can we have a reading, please? Would you speak, please? 
Just speak normally. Hello, hello, hello? It's timed. We'll have you in sight all the time. Can we put a vest on him? It's going to ball. We're out of time. Put the vest We're on. out of time. There is very little likelihood of physical danger. Should it start to break up? If they're shooting. If there is shooting, do not move. Do not move. Don't move. What did I just tell you? Do not move. It's time to go. We appreciate your help. The transmitter's good for three hours. You wait until he offers you money or he threatens you, and then hand him the material. Give him a word. Give him a word. You get in trouble? Just say the word happiness. Say it. Happiness. Please, can you patch me through to Special Agent Pat McCune? One moment. McCune? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Special Agent Pat McCune. This is Pat McCune. Hello? Hello, can I help you?
These were his living quarters. Absolutely clean, not a print anywhere. It's a co-check room, Mr. Ross. It's not the office of anything. It's a co-check room. It's a restaurant. Always has been. Never been a club. of our trip. And this fellow getting off the seaplane. Well, we joked about that. What do you mean? I said he was never on the seaplane. That this fellow, Mr. Dell, was never on the seaplane. That's what we joked about. You joked about it? Yes. And was he on the seaplane? Well, I don't know if he was on the seaplane or not. I just used it. I just used it as an excuse to make conversation. To make conversation with Mr. Ross? That's right. Why? I... Are you having an affair with Mr. Ross? What? What's... Now, do we have any photographs in which we see this other man's face? What's the matter? Has something happened to Mr. Ross? Not that I know of. But I would like to ask you a few more questions about your trip, if I might. All right. The company paid for the trip. That's right. And you've been working for the company how long? A few months. But is Mr. Ross all right? As far as I know, he's fine. But I don't understand. The lieutenant... This man didn't offer you anything. I told you. He purchased I... a first-class ticket for, for Susan Ritchie, an employee in your office, paid cash, a total of... The money was from Mr. Lang. George Lang, your colleague. He wanted it at the casino. He told me to... Give it to a charitable cause. That's right. And you thought that meant to buy a first-class ticket. Well, perhaps I was... Uh... You were what? Showing off. Showing off for the girl. Why? I don't know. What, what does it matter? It wasn't my money. Ask George. Well, he's ill. He's sick, right? That's right. Well, we'll have him in as soon as... Mm -hmm. Bought some clothes down there. That's right. In the town of San Estef. Paid cash again. Yes, I went to the hotel office and changed some traveler's checks. And yes, I went into town and paid cash in the clothing store. So Mr. Lane didn't give you that money, too? No. Why'd you change the checks at the hotel office? Want to just use them at the clothing store? Why not? I don't know. You don't know why you did that? No. Nope. Spent a lot of money on those clothes. I wanted to indulge myself. Indulge yourself? I did it reluctantly, you can ask Mr. Lang. He's your attorney. He's, he's an attorney. He's an attorney for the company. He's my friend. He's... Uh... Why isn't he here? Well, he's ill. And he's going to clear you of everything. I've done nothing wrong. He has special knowledge of this case? Yes, he does. And when you see him... You know... Mr. Ross, you're in a lot of trouble. I came to you. And we're the least of it, I promise you. You can turn back the clock right now, give your employer back what you took, if you still got it, and I'll deal with you. But if we've got to turn this over. What do you mean? The feds won't deal with you, you know? They'll put you inside for all day. What are you talking about? I'm talking about unreported income. I don't understand. I'm saying 
when the IRS lands. I have on. nothing to hide from the IRS. You purchased a first class ticket. Oh, I've explained that. The first class ticket. You got any undisclosed bank accounts? What? Undisclosed bank accounts. No. No gold, no foreign money. No, I'm sent. just a salaried employee. No Swiss bank accounts. No, I told you. No, you've got at the Credit National de Geneva numbered account opened last week. There's nothing in that account. Then what's it doing there? It's just a joke. J Jimmy said. God damn it, man. Won't you come clean? Don't you know you're beat? It's over. It's all done. I've told you, look. Believe me, look. Look. The man is. He is obviously. You must have a file on him. Who? Jimmy Dell. Jimmy Dell. Yes, you must have a record of him. He's a career criminal. He, he's. A record? Where would we find such a record? You want to give us a photograph, fingerprints? His fingerprints? You have something with his fingerprints? Anything he touched? Anything? Is that your signature? Yes. Planning a trip to Venezuela? Why would I go to Venezuela? No extradition treaty with the United States. I have no intention of going to Venezuela. This is a request for political asylum from the Republic of Venezuela. You just told me you signed it. Now, Mr. Ross, if I told you this story, would you believe it? If the process is gone, if we've lost it, well, then uh, my family and I this is my retirement job. This is what I work for. I have nothing in the bank. If this goes, well, look, I, I, uh, I brought this on myself and I apologize. If my actions drove you to this... Mr. Klein, this is not the time. And it's really not required of you to... Be quiet. I'm going to finish this. I'm asking you. I'm pleading with you, however you want to put it. And whatever trouble you're in, I swear I will help you. I paid your bail. I won't press charges. I've asked that my charges be dropped. But please, bring it back to me. Bring it back to me. Don't let it go to the Japanese. Mr. Klein, bring it back. <laughs> I need to talk to you. I know you're sick, but... Uh, the problem? I need your help and uh, your advice. So, so come on.
George. Get up. George. I'm in the living room.
thought that perhaps that I had done it. But you haven't done it. What are you talking about? My greed. You've done nothing. Someone has singled you out no. to take advantage of you. No, it has something to do with me. What are you doing? Who are you calling? I'm calling in sick. I'm calling in sick. Please enter your security ID number and the extension of the person you wish to speak with. Or leave a message after the tone. This is Susan Ricci. I've got the flu. I won't be in today. Well, you're always getting it wrong. That's why they picked you, isn't it? You're the innocent, you're the victim. I'm the Boy Scout. Call it whatever you want if it makes you feel better, but we're gonna get out of it. Now listen, here's what we're going to do. What? That's just Mrs. Ramon. All right, now listen. There's gotta be some record of this Mr. Dell, some record of his face. There's gotta be something he left his fingerprints on. And when we find that, the police... Security cannot... camera. There was a security camera at the hotel. They, they said they saved the tapes for insurance. His face is on the videotape. I have very little money. Why don't you take this? I don't have a passport. Don't need a passport for Santa Steph. You got a driver's license? Left my bloody fingerprints all over the apartment. Uh-huh. Well, that's what happened then, isn't it? And I'm the only one with a motive. Well, let's clear it up then, eh? What do you think? Don't you doubt me for an instant? I don't doubt you for an instant, no. Why? Because I'm stuck on you. I believe we have a problem. Good morning, ma'am, sir. Scream at me. Scream at me. Well, this is the end. This is the end, you stupid mick. Do you think I wanted to go? Do you think I wanted to go to your drunken family? You call it a holiday, it's a disgrace. It's eight in the morning and you are drunk and you forgot the tickets and you expect me to drive home. Ma'am, can you please pull your car over? I'm to... not pulling the car over. I am not going to Toronto and I am not going anywhere but dump this disgrace at home. You think it's charming? You think it's all Irish and charming to behave this way? You disgust me. You... All right, move on. Keep moving out of the terminal. You bet I'm going to keep moving out of the terminal. Don't you smile at me. What is it? They played me for such a fool. Such a fool. You know, you just had some bad training early on. What do you mean? Somebody screws around with you, you don't get morose. You go out and get even with them. Look, there's bad people in the world. You just run into some of them. get to Santa Steph now. The traditional way you fly. They're looking for me at the airports. They aren't going to be looking for you in Boston. How do you know? St. Patty's Day in Boston. They aren't going to be looking too hard for much of anything. I 
do. You just take everything in stride. Next time, be born Italian. That's the thing to do. I thought of everything. Ain't hard to do. I'm fond of you. What? Crikey. Ticket. Hey! One in Rome. Oh, yes, uh, Aaron go bra. Thanks. Come on, Joe. I know you're innocent. Now you go prove it and come back to me. What will you do? I'll worry about you. Come on. If you have your tickets, you may proceed directly through security and to the gate. Excuse me, please. Yes, sir. Give it back. They told Thanks. you you can have your book after you finish your brownie, and not until then. And that's it. I don't want your fingerprints all over it. And that's enough. God. Be here for an hour. You'll be safe. They're not going to be looking for you here. Take the camera. Take my camera. Get a picture of the girl who played the princess. Can that help? It can't hurt. And if you can think of any other thing, something he touched, or you have your ticket. Thank you. Yeah, sure. You see in the paper this morning? You see, that's why I won't go to New York. You know, in the older days, you didn't have to worry but it about it. It is becoming this. more dangerous. It's not oh, just sorry. statistics. It's a... I told you that you could not have the book until you finish with your brownie, and I mean it. And that's it. Thank you. Oh, now, fine, you've torn it. You've torn your book. You can move to the head of the line if you like. Here, let me help you. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry, excuse me. Now, that's it. You've torn your book, and I'm not getting you another one, and that's the last and final word about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right this way? Torn your book, and I am not going to get another one. We'll take the stroller, ma'am. Now, you we need to put Teddy through the machine. Thanks. Thank you. Now, I really need you to do what I tell you to do. You've got to start listening to me. Sir, so we'll need to put your camera through. Uh, your camera, sir. There is time. Everything is fine. It's, it's going to be through any second, I promise you. Now, look. It's going to come through. It's going to be just fine. You've gotten your fingerprints all over the book. You've torn it, and you've got your fingerprints all over it. Look. He left his fingerprints on the... He left his fingerprints on the tennis book. See, when I press the button, the bear will come right through. Excuse me. Tennis book. 
well. But we'll have to get back to New York and get it. Indeed we will. to New York, we'll get the book. What? What? We're gonna call. We're gonna call up. We'll get someone to take it to the cops. Who can we call? Klein. I'm gonna call Klein. Right back. I'm gonna call Klein. Traveler? Yes. Take it, please. Sir, so I'm afraid this boat doesn't go that far. What? We got a ticket here for Venezuela. Why would you want to go there? Why would you want to go there? Because they have no extradition treaty. on the book. So he wasn't that smart, was he? Say that again. Now, why would someone do that? Why would somebody go into a life of crime? I don't know. I think there are people we can't understand. To steal what others worked for? To kill? We can't know, Joe. I... Golly, Joe, I... Oh. Why? Why for the money? What was the idea? I was to be shot at the airport? Can I ask what you plan to do with me? Something probably understanding, though, knowing you. I suppose you think that makes me weak. No. I'm just so sorry I can't be that generous. And we come to the end of a perfect day. Clang, clang, end of the line. What's he been telling you? Sweet nothings. Well, should we wrap it up? So how does it end? Well, it appears you stole, you killed, you kidnapped her, you did it all for the money, and now, overcome with remorse, took your own life. What could be more appropriate? And if I don't cooperate? I'm afraid you have no choice. Why? Be 
because money makes the mayor go. Nobody lives forever. Nobody lives forever. The important thing is to enjoy yourself. Kill him. tell you where the process is. We need to know where the process is. You're doing fine. Right, we don't have too much time. What'd you do with the process? That your last request? Yes. Could you, uh, could you grant me that? We took the report. And we sold it to Switzerland. As soon as you're dead. You don't have to do this. I enjoy doing it, actually. Thank you for your concern. Goodbye. I suppose you'll take the process to Japan. United States Marshal Service, actually. Did you have to kill him? Didn't kill him. Stun gun. Base acting tranquilizer. Good shooting. Stun gun? What if you missed? Well, then it'd be back to the range for me. by your boss, Mr. Klein. Steal the process. Easy to steal it, hard to get away with the crime. But there's only two keys to the safe, and he didn't want to take it. Then you had to. And you've been watching the whole time? Your tax dollars at work. I'm afraid you're going to have to spend some time in your room. 